Hey y'all, it's February 17th, and this is Proverbs 17th in the NASB. Better is a dry morsel and quietness with it than a house full of feasting with strife. The servant who acts wisely will rule over a son who acts shamefully, and will share in the inheritance among brothers. The refining pot is for silver, and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests hearts. An evildoer listens to wicked lips, a liar pays attention to destructive tongue, he who mocks the poor taunts his maker. He who rejoices at calamity will not go unpunished. Grandchildren are the crown of old men, and the glory of sons is their fathers. Excellent speech is not fitting for a fool, much less are lying lips to a prince. A bribe is a charm in the sight of its owner. Wherever he turns, he prospers. He who conceals a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates intimate friends. A rebuke goes deeper into one who has understanding than a hundred blows into a fool. A rebellious man seeks only evil, so a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Let a man meet a bear robbed of her cubs, rather than a fool in his folly. He who returns evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so abandon the quarrel before it breaks out. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the righteous, both of them are, are, both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Why is there a price in the hand of a fool to buy wisdom when he has no sense? A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. A man lacking in sense pledges and becomes a guarantor in the presence of his neighbor. He who loves transgression loves strife. He who raises his door seeks destruction. He who has a crooked mind finds no good, and he who is perverted in his language falls into evil. He who sires a fool does so to his sorrow, and the father of a fool has no joy. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. A wicked man receives a bribe from the bosom to pervert the ways of justice. Wisdom is in the presence of the one who is understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her who bore him. It is not also not good to find the righteous, nor to strike the noble for their uprightness. He who restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cruel spirit is a man of understanding. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is considered prudent. I think it's crazy today uh yesterday my mom had a real awesome confirmation she her devotional and another devotion all shared the verse in proverbs that we were studying so similarly today it's february 17th and my bible app that i read with shares a daily devotion as i've said before and today was proverbs 17 17 so lots of 17s everywhere so let's meditate on a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. Other than that, I mean, I, I hate to repeat the same thing all the time, but the one, the way that this chapter starts is better is a dry morsel and quietness than a house full of feasting with strife. Yeah. Better to have a quiet family that loves each other and gets along than constantly bickering talking mean to each other you know or worse fighting against each other and lots of knowledge here on you know sons being the joy and the pride of their fathers and sons are inheriting the glory of their fathers so basically don't screw it up um so yeah lots of perspective today i had to pump up my tire hopefully that works found a nail in it and that was right before my shift so now i'm 25 minutes into my shift but uh, I need to get moving. I need to get north of the city. But this was more important. I had to do this. wanted to do it in the daylight, as I'm sure everybody appreciates that. That happens across these. So trying to snow. Doesn't want to snow. We dropped like 25 degrees since yesterday. So let me know how cold it is where you are. And uh, enjoy your weekend. Go with God. Be blessed.